Flash 75, obviously a supersized issue. Uh, Joshua Williamson writing with Howard Porter, Scott Collins, and Kristen Deuce on the art. Uh, and they're all separated by segments, so it's not like it's shifting yeah. back and forth. Uh, right like that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Mm-hmm. We're done with year one. We are. Um, We're done with year one. Um, you know but... what's really funny? Is you know the year one trade is cutting out most of the back half of this issue. Oh, easy. Here's the other thing. Remember when we introduced to year one? And we were told like this new guy, Steadfast, all would be revealed in year one. Mm-hmm. And then he gets relegated to a backup that doesn't basically mean anything. No, nothing was revealed in this. Yeah, I nothing. think nothing. I think they'll keep that part in the trade because I think they want that final page, the splash page of the, like the, him talking about mm-hmm. being the Flash and all the family behind them. They're going to keep that, but the, the Captain Cold thing at the end that'll be gone. Uh, no. Honestly, that 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 like two pages or whatever it is with Steadfast is after that no. splash page. So I don't think that's there either. I think that splash page is the final yeah. thing of the trade. There, uh, there might be uh, like a trade of just okay, you know, uh, Williamson's volume eight or whatever yeah. is on. You know, that'll pro- it'll, that'll have the full issue in. And, but the one that they label Flash Year One hardcover, right. that's getting uh, that's ending on that splash yeah. page. So, you know, I, I'm a sucker for the emotional spectrum in John's Green Lantern. Like I really like that, and I know a lot of people had issues with it. And that's what I was thinking about the, the the forces with Williamson. I'm I'm done with this. They're I just don't not want as to see them. Are they? No, it's <sighs> leave the Speed Force alone, man. Just let it like. Well, you're gonna love the next arc, be... Matt, because the next arc is I called know. the Death of the Speed Force. <laughs> I know. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I I didn't like on that splash page. There there were some characters missing, mm-hmm. and I and I understand why, but I still don't like it. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I think the thing that upset me the most in this issue was the after after the the, the crisis is over and it's like I shifted ahead. It it's shifted mm-hmm. ahead to like after Flash Day or whatever. And there's not really I don't know if there's a clear indication of how much time has passed, but um, no. I I would say at least a year because uh, I assume Flash Day was okay. The day he mm, saved the city. So sure. This is the anniversary. That of makes it. some sense. Um, and they redo him meeting Wally for the first time. And Wallace. Wallace is there too. They've, they've got <laughs> some ugly art. I'm sorry, but the, the kids not good. look just mm. wrong. Like, yeah. I don't understand it's, it's, the sizes. It's JR, yeah, it's JRJR syndrome, right? Where the kids are overly characterized, mm. you know? And um, here's, here's the thing. It's, it doesn't actually, outside of the fact that Wallace is also there, it's not that different, actually, what you get here from actual, you know, uh, Right. Wally's your one story, right? So mm-hmm. there's nothing upset in here in the sense of like them changing things or, or that's not why I'm upset about it. I'm upset about it because it just feels like they're tugging on some Wally like heartstrings here, yeah. and all it did it just made me cynical, and it made me cynical that, that, that when when you know when when got when what was his, what's his name steadfast. <laughs> I had to think of his name. Yeah. When, when he when he like you know we come come back to him and he's like oh yeah she'd forgotten all this shit it was wiped from time I'm like wait so is this like New Fifty Two wiped it from time you know Flashpoint did this or is this some other reason that he doesn't remember this a Manhattan wiped it from time uh, yeah like, I I don't know because I'm confused by even the splash page like Jay Garrick's on there mm-hmm. but yeah. as of right now he's a even even within this origin story of year yeah. one, he was well, a comics character on a different oh, right right. And if and if that's the case, then and we're using purely hypothetical people. Where's Jay and and Irie? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. If, right? if, if it's if it's a free for all, not everyone on the flat splash page is right? existing yet. Because yeah, you, you you also have Johnny Quick, who you can't have Jesse Quick without Johnny Quick, because Johnny Quick was also a Justice Society member. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Max Mercury. And anything, and primarily. If, if anything, what upsets me about that more though is the idea that they we're saying that this is the, the the canon origin now is all this shit with the time travel and the turtle. Um. That, this is the uh, origin uh, that got erased by Flashpoint. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I am going to throw down a gauntlet and go. This isn't my Flash origin, and you can't tell me that it is, Williamson. I love you, dude. You're a nice guy. It, I love most of what you've done. Yeah, yeah. I like you this. pulled it wrong on this one. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I hated this this year one. I, I, like everything with Turtle in the first chunk, and you know Barry like taking everyone in the city three seconds into the future to like escape yeah. Turtle's power. 
Like, yeah, a little bit too also, much. It's just, what what it's threw just me is, is there's a point where Turtle goes, oh, so you've come back and faced me in every other timeline, you run away. What? Surely, from yeah, how do you know that's true? this is just the time he well, does this. And also, with the whole paradox thing, and now we're getting into timey wimey, none of this happened. Therefore, Wally, this whole story should not happen. This should all be a time remnant. And if we're going that way, cool. But as it stands now, for Barry to experience all the stuff with Turtle, all the other future has to happen. But from what happens here, it gets wiped out. Oh yeah, I'm not. see everything fade away back to the future style. Yeah, Matt. I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about this. This is just like typical it's, time travel story. No, but I think Matt's not because Flash does have time remnants as a thing that we right. can use to do this. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I, I love that this is confusing in the sense that, no, no, like, this was no. how things happened originally, and he changed it, you know, and things faded away, uh, and then DC continuity played out from there as, as we understand it, right? Um, I don't like the idea that this was the Flash's origin. I don't like that it glossed over yeah. things that, that made... I don't, I don't like the fact that he's taking everyone in the city three seconds into the future at the end of his origin story. Like, I that don't... is just too powerful. Like, the Flash is a very powerful character. And obviously, like, yeah. by the time we get to him being experienced, he's doing all these crazy things with time travel and whatnot. Like... Year one, have it be, have him be an amateur, have him not like that was the thing. Remember we were talking about in issue two, he was already phasing through things. I'm like, no, no, he, yeah. he shouldn't be doing that like until maybe the like, end of a year one story. Do you know that me? there's a there's Quickest. a point in this issue where he talks about you know he was scared of the shaking, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, so that's the thing. He's he, okay. You just you that's finally what... learn how to vibrate and phase, and that's your big moment for the end Whoa. of an origin, which is a yes. perfectly fine ending of an origin, big enough, yeah, you know, power. Right. Yeah. But also, I thought that was going to tie back to what he taught Avery, right? In, and that was a whole thread uh, sure, throughout yeah. the early part of the run. And it's not even addressed whatsoever, him dealing with his Which, nerves. I, I, this is one of the things that bugs me sometimes with comic books. And it's a problem the, the, the storytelling has with a lot of writers. And this, this is what bugs me with Scott Snyder, is that everything has to be the biggest thing ever. And it's like, yeah. how does he end this 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 fight with Turtle and his and his year one story? Oh, it's this big, ridiculous, over the top thing where he takes you know everyone in the future. Is, is at least normally I can understand oh there's a progression, so it has to be bigger than the last thing, right? So I can understand yeah. why that works in their heads. But this is you know, by by its concept, this is earlier in the timeline. So it does right. not have to be as big. So Here's here's my thing. Batman Year One, the main villains are are Falcone, right? Yes. Remind me. Yeah, it's Falcone and uh, right. I don't know if Maroni's in the the first book, but yeah. Okay. Right. And well, who's the villain in Batgirl Year One? So I never read that one. Uh, I want to say it was Killer Moth. Okay. That sounds like it might be right. Yeah. yeah. So so you want to kind of lay the groundwork for who these villains are going to be? So. You're gonna do a year one, but you're gonna basically throw in a. a and Turtle's been around, but he's not like. Yeah. You don't think of the turtle when it comes to Flash. Which on and, paper seems like a fine villain for a year one. Before he gets to cold, before he gets to Reverse Flash or whoever. Right. You know, if he's a turtle, sure. But, but then, like as you said, you up everything by ten, and you make Turtle like. <laughs> you they put some. At the level that he's an arch. Yeah, you, they, yeah, they, they make Turtle have like be how? be be the king of a post-apocalyptic turtle fuel yeah. base. Like. How, is, how like... is Captain Cold a threat after this? Right, and that's my whole point. You, we don't even get to see any like we see a little bit of cold in the rogues, but like, give us like, give us proto cold. Him trying to do a, a, a you know a whole cold thing because of the Flash. You know, give us a I little just... bit of that. This is and definitely it's... the worst year one that I have read anyone that's <laughs> telling me about yeah. Superman. Go, go read Superman year one, Car, and get back I to mean, us on that. I've, I've, read, <laughs> I've read Batman, Batgirl, Robin, Justice League, Green Arrow. Right, and I isn't like the villain in Justice League year one, it culminates with Starro? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you... you... But... That was, oh, that's I think that was like a, a 12 issue thing. Yeah, and yeah, I guess that's, level, that's levels of difficulty. If you compare, guess, if you compare but... it to different year ones and stuff, like, like yeah, so so Batman year one, he's taking on organized crime. He's not taking on any you know masked villains or anything like that. Not really. Um, and it ends with the tease that the Joker's now a thing, right? And that obviously ties into Batman's right. whole thing, where is he partly responsible for villains up in the right. ante because yeah. he exists, right? And, blah blah blah. Right. Green and... Arrows is on the island, and he's with uh, China White. 
Uh, yeah, yep. China White. Yeah. Oh god, that's my favorite year one, by the way. That's, that's so. real good. And again, uh, like she's she's like an international crane boss kind of like character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's not like a huge thing. Like it's like he's accidentally stumbled into the where she's you know right. growing all, all the drugs by fate. Like this is his yeah. fate is to become Green Arrow through stopping China White, and yeah. But here, I just they made Turtle too powerful, and I don't care about by doing that. I don't care about these forces. I just. Yeah. I want to ignore them. I'm like, and I'm fine with just the speed force. I don't need the strength. I don't need the 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 mind or whatever it was called. And I hate, I hate, like, I hate Barry meeting older Barry, uh, like in a year one story yep. as well. Especially since like a big part of like Barry's backstory now, ever since this was introduced, is the idea that his mother was killed, and obviously we know it's going to eventually be reverse flash that's found out. Yeah. And I, I must say, nasty be the story in year one. That can be something that he's clearly but obsessed with. But you know, it's not even part of the motivation. Here. It's I, not. No. Yeah, I love that when John's redid his origin and he gave him the mom issue, that that's why he became a police scientist. Right? Is he knows in his heart his dad's not responsible, and he wants so he wants him. to exonerate him. Yeah. And yeah. See, and I like that. That's seeing this issue know, when he mentions all oh, his dad's behind bars and there's like one panel of his dad in yeah. prison. I went. That yep. feels so jarring putting this in this one. Like, yep. <laughs> like it's and, not even been a mention. You know, obviously, we've mentioned the previous issues, but I really hate how all of his lessons he just learns from future version of himself. Oh yeah, I hate that. So I, the, the big thing at the end, where you know, it's like, oh, how do I do this? Oh, slide into it. Oh yeah, that's what future me said. And it's played but, as such a big hero moment. He's got the pose. He's got it right. It's like you can't just tell yourself these things. I mean, you have to learn no, that for yourself. You know, there's there's another way to do it that you have you have Iris teaching that by accident. Sure. About yeah, yeah. you got to ease into things, Barry. You can't just rush head in. Like yeah. and then part, it, part of like, very literally old version of him went. Yeah, just slide into it, mate. You'll be fine. Part yeah. part of the the fun of an origin story is the character learning to use their powers and making the mistakes they're going to make and solve basically problem solving. It's like okay, I've got these powers. How do I use this? You know, in Superman origin stories, you know, part of the fun of seeing young Superman get some of the powers for the first time is like, wait, how do I not trigger X-ray vision when my parents are standing there? Because you know, for the love of all things, I do not want to see that. Like you know, th th simple little fun things like that. Like how does the flash like stop without burning his shoes or does he need special shoes you know like right. and that may sound like okay but surely that's something that's been explored before it has been but if you're going to yeah. do a year one you want to see like the the modern telling of going through those beats that's that's what you want from an origin story Th this story is obsessed with just throwing these different things in there and it's everything that's actually part of the origin story feels like an afterthought it feels like oh it's just in there because it needs to be sprinkled in there somewhere yeah this is a zero year yes this, this is, is not a year one this is, this is that is what I'd compare it to a zero year. Yep, and I don't like it. Yeah, you know, I, I, we were just talking about year ones. I feel like even Secret Origins, which this arguably yeah. is supposed to feel like, because the whole idea is that he's forgotten something and he's going to remember yeah. it. But like, even like Superman's Secret Origin, I I still think plays as a pretty solid year one. And, right. and it's, you know, so we all didn't like this part, right? But mm -hmm. the the next part, the next part, I'm not looking forward to at the minute either because. Forces yeah. and uh, Fla Flash uh, builds his Flash Museum. He gives all the the construction oh, workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you talking about? I, I was getting to the cold stuff. Oh, yeah, that's, that's after that's the last part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's not much to say really. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm, I've helped building the museum, and Commander Cold's there, and like they're going to do stuff. Okay, great. Um, the and the he's like, wait, this was all just a day. What I thought was funny yeah. is that uh, the Captain Cold stuff at the end. Is basically that one page offer thing that all the other books have. Um, he gives it a whole like sort of little mini story, <laughs> mm -hmm. building up to yeah. it. Um, okay, so uh, let's go out to the people that are listening and watching. Um, has Cold been a character in Suicide Squad? Because if so, I might want to check I, some I of that out. I feel like he probably has. That feels like likely. Yeah. Um, I will say I am digging the the grizzled bearded Beard. cold yeah you know, this buddy. is a weird thing i actually probably enjoyed a chunk of this cold stuff the most out of the issue just mm -hmm. because it felt like traditional captain cold miserable asshole like <laughs> yeah. talking about the rogues so, yeah and so i like the basically if this was a movie this would have been a smash cut it's him describing the rogues and how they're a family and like well the wizard's volatile but when you use some extra firepower count on him golden glider she's my sister of course you know uh, Mirror Master, self-centered, but always has your back. Heat Wave, brother from another mother, loves fire as much as I love cold, which is terrifying when you think about it, right? And you could tell he loves the rogues, right? They are a family. They are the counterbalance of the Flash family, 
And then you smash cut to the next page, and it's on the Suicide Squad, and he's basically the only one left standing. And it's such a great story point that Cold likes to think of himself as a loner, but he's not, right? Yeah, he's like, well, I mean, I think the actual offer part when Lex, you know, drawn shows up is the worst mm -hmm. part of this. That said, I do like the idea that when he makes him the offer, he says, but only if the rogues get included. Like, I'm not doing this alone. I I do like that aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... I am looking forward to that story well enough, don't get me wrong. Yep. Uh, it's all the other stuff that's going to be around it that I'm mm-hmm. not particularly enthusiastic about coming up. Yeah. So, but I really enjoyed this this Captain Cold part. Like, uh, and, it, and it talked about their time together in the Justice League, which I liked. Yeah, that, that was a nice touch. That was, a, you know, when uh, Cold was the head of Lexus Security. Uh, yeah, it's cool. about, hey, hey, we both tried to do something else, and, uh-huh. you know, we were wrong to try that, and we both kind of come to that conclusion. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so, no, I, I enjoyed all this. But, you know, as for the offer, again, it it hit the formula, but not really, you know? It wasn't as good as Bendis' stuff, but I still prefer it to everything else. It, it didn't, like, it, it didn't, I mean, I wasn't talking about this book when I said another book that it kind of interest. Oh, me. really? Yeah. Because, for me, this was just, like... He's extended it because he's the page count up, and ultimately what most of it is is just like a little Captain Cold like character study, which we've seen done better before. You know, John's had the big Captain Cold issue in his run and so on. Like, it felt like it was like touching on some of those points, and that's fine. Um, but it felt it felt just more like traditional Captain Cold, and I kind of liked that uh, for a few pages before it got to yeah. the point. Um, yeah. But yeah, that is um, that is Flash seventy five. Uh, we're all thankful year one's over. We did not I'm enjoy so year happy. one, and we we enjoy this run. Like like for the you know for like sixty yeah. plus issues. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not always been perfect. No, uh, I've I've had complaints here or there. None of it has been as bad as this. Nope. I really hope it's back on form. I really do. I do too. I hope this was just a slump and not a a sign of things to come. Yeah, yeah. I really hope so. Um, so yeah, how are we rating them up? So I'm, uh, I was going to go low, even for me, like, Mm -hmm. right. Uh, but then the Captain Cold story picks it up at the end. So I'm going to give us a five. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, Connor? Uh, I'm actually agreeing with that. It would have been lower, but the the Cold story was decent enough. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make it a triple five. I think... I think as much as I don't like the justification or the build up to the big splash page, the splash page itself is quite nice. Yeah, um, I was gonna say I love that as a Flash fan that that speaks to me. And you have, yeah, you throw Avery in there, but I just if you're gonna have Jay Garrick, if you're gonna have uh, Jesse, both Jesse Quicks, throw an Irene and, and Jay in there. Yeah, uh, do you know what's weird about it though is I feel like there was enough, there wasn't enough story in the issue to actually cover the extended page count, and obviously part of that's made up by extending the offer to its own little story. But mm-hmm. I felt like there was extra fan service in this issue it's... just to make up the page count. Like it was like it's which the same... I'm a little bit grateful for because I I realized yeah. earlier in the week that oh shit, seventy five, it's a double. It's yeah. there's more of year one than I thought. Well, I read Wonder Woman before, and then I got to this, and I went, oh, no, is this just going to be a lot of year, year zero? It's not calling it year one anymore. The, the, there was a disappointing moment, though, where I got I realized that he'd beat the turtle, and I checked what page I was on, and I wasn't even yeah. halfway through the book, and I went, oh, you uh, kid, you're kidding me. I thought I was done. <laughs> so you I, I got a nice surprise when, when it was extra stories. You know, you get Scott Collins in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but, but yeah. Um, hmm. Alright, yeah, 5 out of 10 all around then.